Hey guys, Kevin here. I just want to touch on a subject that I, I go through almost every day myself, um, and that's anxiety. Anxiety itself uh, is just a horrible feeling. Uh, I'll go through a couple of examples I have. Um, I was going down the highway. My battery was low. I couldn't find... I didn't know. It's not that I couldn't find... I didn't know where the nearest hospital was. Um, it was 20 degrees outside. And I had no help at all. I couldn't breathe. I felt like I couldn't breathe. I knew I was breathing. I was sweating. It was Like I said, it was 20 degrees Fahrenheit outside. And I was sweating like crazy. I had to dump water on me. It's just a feeling that's horrible. Uh... I hate it. I don't wish on even on my enemies to have this. And a lot of people don't understand, especially if they haven't had anxiety. People that have will tell you, like me, it's the worst feeling ever, especially having a panic attack, which I'll go into more detail. It, it's something that you can't explain. I always get the wobbly legs, the gelatin legs is what I call it. And... It's horrible. It really is. And there's nothing you can do about it. Just uh, you have to literally let it roll. I do deep breaths, one of my things that usually help me out. I've been uh, a medicine I've been prescribed by the doctor. Uh, basically, a men in other words, mentally ill. Because you make your mind feel that you're sick. It's nothing else. You physically make your mind sick. And it tells you that you're sick and you're dying. You can't breathe and you can't, you can't do this and you can't do that. It's just horrible. I wish there was a cure. Like I said, I take a pill. It's called Lexapro. I'm sure you, uh, most of you have heard of it. Um, calms your nerves. I've been doing it now for three months. And um, there's a lot of side effects to it. I didn't have any major ones. The big one is gaining a little weight. I gained a little. I think I needed it anyways. I was really thin. Um... But I'm really hungry at the same time. But that's another thing. Going by myself to go eat. I couldn't do that. I couldn't drive by myself. I'm still scared to drive by myself. Especially far away. Because I don't think uh, I know where the nearest hospital. I mean, your, your mind just goes crazy. If you ever felt like this. I mean, I've been in the shower thinking that what if something happens in the shower? I fall. I slip. My wife's not here. No one's home. My phone's on the other side of the, the room. I can't get there. And my mind just goes crazy and starts thinking, you're basically going to die. And <laughs> there's nothing you can do about it. And you just sit there and you think about it. And that, that's the problem. You sit there and think about that problem. And your mind just keeps going and it gives you the worst case scenario right off the bat. That's usually how my brain goes. Worst case scenario right off the bat. Uh... With at least this pill, I've been able to ignore that and just focus on what's going on out here. But I really want to touch this subject because a lot of people out there can't talk to someone or are too scared to talk to someone. Or they go on YouTube and they go on here and social media and Facebook and, and try to figure it out because you're not alone out there. I, I've, I've gone through this. I, I felt, I've felt this and it's horrible. It's such a horrible feeling. Uh, I can't even go out to the mall. Or in some cases, it hurts relationships like mine. My wife's very outgoing. She likes going to the mall, going here, going there. And I can't take her. I really just can't. I feel scared. I feel that I can't do the things to make her happy. And it really makes me pissed off because I used to be not like this. I used to go out all the time. I can go far away. I drive really fast, I get there, hang out with my friends, and I'll be fine. But now I can't even stay home. I have to stay home in my room. That's my happy place. And that's another thing. Um, you find your little niche. You, you find your little happy place is what I call it. Home is one of them. Makes me feel great at home. Another one is work. Even though a lot of people don't like their work, but it makes me calm. It makes me forget any problems I have at home. Any problems going through my head because I'm constantly working. And when I get home and sleep, and of course, uh, my dog, she helps me out a lot. She's here. Cookie. Cookie. She's always here playing around, being happy, and uh, it really helps out a lot. 
So I, I just want to bring it out to everyone. You know, if you need help, throw it in the comments, throw a phone number and email. I can answer any questions, make, maybe make you feel better because it's you're not alone. Maybe you have a partner or, or your wife or your whoever that doesn't believe you. Show them this video because it's true. I, I feel like, you know, the worst case scenario happens all the time. Uh, you got, you're feeling like you can't breathe, you know, I get that all the time. Uh, what else? I mean, the, the gelatin legs where you feel like you're going to faint. Uh, I had massive headaches before too. I had a headache every day. That's why I did take aspirin. I took aspirin four times a day, a thousand milligrams made me feel great. Unfortunately, that's probably not good for my liver. But uh, at that point, I didn't care. I just wanted to feel good, and I'm still tr I'm still trying to feel good. It's something that uh, probably won't go away for a while now. Now, back then, before my medicine, it did go away a couple months here, a couple months there, but it always came back, and it was every time it came back, it came back even worse. To the point where I was scared to go to work. I was scared to go out of the house. It's just a horrible feeling, and I don't wish it on anyone. Like I said. So just leave any comments down below, like this video, share it. You know, anyone who has anxiety knows what I'm talking about. You know, there's no BS. There's no BS in this. It's a real feeling that you have in your head. It's fixable, the good thing. It just takes some time, a couple techniques. Um, you know, feel free to email me. I, I'm there to help. Uh, yeah, that's all I got, guys. I appreciate it.